Hey guys, welcome to this instructional video that I'm going to be covering how to make your plain kind of base model looking telly or any solid body guitar for that matter that you can uh, fit the striping on the side. Uh, kind of give it a faux binding look uh, as well as a, a top pinstriping graphics that I, I have in mind that I want to try. Uh, all with the pit, black pit guard shipped to me next day from ordering for under 20 bucks from Amazon. Okay, so first things first, let's get these strings off. All right, now that we've got the strings off, first thing is to remove the neck, as we're going to need to access the neck pocket for the start of the decal. And if any of you viewers out there who would like to see me do uh, another video with this guitar uh, of me gutting and replacing, upgrading all of the electronics and hardware, then uh, hey, drop some comments below and uh, give me an idea of what you would like to see as far as uh, pickups and hardware upgrades uh, that you think would be pretty cool. Yeah, and with those neck bolts and plate out of the way, let's go ahead and turn the guitar back over and remove the neck and kind of see how well the uh, neck fit is. And surprisingly, this is a pretty snug neck. Uh, very well done. All right, now with the neck out of the way, let's go ahead and remove the screws for the pick guard and get that out of the way as well. So here we go with the replacement pick guard black and this should be a direct fit and drop in screw holes and all. So far so good. Looks like it lines up. And now for the plastic covering. Go ahead and take this off before I put the screws in. Otherwise there's really no way to get it all off of there without parts of it remaining stuck underneath the screws. Huh. You know, so now that I've got that off, I'm still seeing some bubbles that uh, kind of looks like there's still a clear film on here. And you know what? There, there is. This thing has uh, two plastic uh, film covers on it. That's kind of interesting. Let's get this uh, second one off. This one was really stuck on there. It is looking much better though underneath. Now the only thing different about this pick guard is it does have two holes on either side of the neck pickup route uh, for the actual pickup to mount to the pick guard itself. But on uh, this guitar, it's not gonna be needed. So just gonna have a couple holes there, but uh, being a black finish, I'm kind of hoping that that will go unnoticed for the most part. Well, looks like it fits around the neck pocket pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and get these screws back in here.
And you know what? These strings are just going to be in the way no matter what. So let's going to go ahead and cut these out and remove them. And I'll just throw on a new set of strings. No big deal. Now, before we go on to actually applying the vinyl pinstriping decal tape, this is a good time to actually go over the guitar and make sure it's clean. Uh, get a good buffing towel, cloth, whatever you have. Uh, that will work and just especially go around the edges of the guitar where we're going to be applying the trim we are going to start this piece in the neck pocket we're going to do one continuous long piece around the body of the guitar and it will end on the other side of the neck pocket so one thing you do not want to do is just to cut off multiple strips uh, trying to do these steps um, because the, there's no way that's going to actually stay on the guitar long term. That'll wind up peeling, rubbing against it. So really the only way to do this um, to where it's going to last and look good is one long continual piece around the guitar from neck pocket to neck pocket. And as you notice, as I go around the first uh, curve of the body here, we're not going all the way up to the edge. I'm only going as far as the uh, straight edge of the side of the guitar where it starts to curve that roll from the side and it rolls up to the uh, top of the guitar body you want to stop right there and that's how I have the lighting in the room uh, at an angle to kind of um, give me a shadow look on the side of the body it really kind of helps that uh, line of the curvature stand out because I want to stay at uh, and below that line And this is going on very nicely, a little bit faster than what I actually anticipated, which is good. So one thing that you want to do, as you see, is I am pulling an extra length from the roll of pinstriping tape. Um, after I'm pulling tension on the tape, very important step that you do not want to skip is you want to actually um, give some slack on that uh, extra length of pinstriping tape that you just pulled off because if you just pull it tight and then apply it to the guitar body instantly uh, that's actually has tension on it and it's going to naturally shrink and cause peeling and it's it's going to look bad and it's going to come off um, probably pretty easy so you just want to be sure that you after you pull out your six seven eight inches of uh, excess tape as you're going around your guitar body just be sure that you allow it to sag and that extra tension to work itself out that way you're applying the pinstriping to the body without the extra tension pull on the tape And as we round the bottom of the guitar, uh, we're going to be getting close to the jack plate, which we're going to need to take all four screws out and pull the jack plate out just a little bit so I can actually go behind it for a really nice clean cut look.
All right, so we're at the jack plate now. So we're going to go ahead and remove the four screws and don't need to pull it out from the body more than just, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch just where I can get this uh, pinstripe tape behind it. And don't worry about uh, covering up the holes as you go by. Uh, this is just vinyl striping decal tape, so you can easily uh, replace the screws over the covered holes and it will just go right through the tape, no problem. Probably help make the, uh, the screw holes a little bit more secure to the body than it was before. And it's looking pretty good here, so we're going to go ahead and reattach the jack plate and put the screws back in. All right, and nearing the last turn of the guitar body, you just want to remember not to speed up. Just take your time with this because uh, you want it to look good and be sure that everything is straight. Uh, and, hey, I would recommend that, uh, you know, if you have a bright light or a lamp in the room, that you kind of put it off to the side corner a few feet away from where you're working, and that will really help uh, put a shadow on the side body of the guitar and help keep the top really lit up uh, which will help you see that fine line on the side body uh, that you kind of need to, to stick it as you apply the decal. All right, so making our way over the horn of the guitar, and you can actually probably just cut yourself off about you know seven or eight inches from the roll of the pinstripe. Uh, that way, you can just uh, deal with the the one piece instead of holding the roll in one hand and kind of uh, fighting with uh, the direction of the tape in the other hand. All right, looks like I've got enough material here, so I'm going to go ahead and snip this off. And one thing I forgot to mention here at the beginning of this video before we started is that this guitar is clean. There is no dirt, dust, uh, grime, anything on this guitar. Um, so if you are doing this to uh, your guitar and follow along in the video, hey, be sure that you do a good cleaning and wipe down and drying of all around the sides and edges of your guitar. And, it, you know, just, hey, the top too, because um, you want to make sure that it's free of any of all dirt and dust, because anything that's on the finish uh, is going to take away from the decal's ability to actually stick to the body of the guitar. So you don't want anything taking that away or limiting uh, the lifespan of how long that this will be able to stay on there.
All right, so now with the decal pinstriping done, let's go ahead and move to the neck fretboard and do some cleaning and conditioning and hydrating on the board and really bring out the color. So this is a really nice um, wood grain on this Indian lower board. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, I don't see very many of these uh, on the pretty much base model beginning uh, beginner's line of guitars. It, it has this much character in the fretboard. So really nice example. All right, and after conditioning all the frets on the board, if we kind of go back to the first few frets where we started, uh, you can kind of see how it's starting to dry out, and that's because this board was really dry and in desperate need of conditioning, so it soaked up the first few frets when we started a few minutes ago pretty quick. So we're going to go ahead and take some clean towels and cloths and wipe all the excess off and uh, put a little pressure on and around the frets to really clean any grit and grime off of there. It's going to shine and look real good and feel real good too when you're playing. You're going to notice a big difference. All right, so let's go ahead and do a test fit on the neck with the new pick guard. All right, all looks good. So we're ready to reattach the neck plate and bolts. All right, all in all, this is a pretty good fitting uh, pick guard. So it looks like I will need to make one small adjustment uh, with the selector switch and the volume and tone knob assembly plate. Uh, so I'm going to try and loosen the screws on that and see if I've got some room to move that down a little bit. That way it can help uh, the pick guard fit uh, perfect around the edges and not overlapping on the control plate itself. All right, so that wound up being a perfect fit after that slight adjustment with the plate. All right, and the final step of this project that I'm going to do is I, I have an idea that I wanted to do kind of a graphics 
uh, strip line across the top of the guitar to give a little bit extra character and, and uniqueness. So we're going to be taking probably 10 to 12 inch strip of the decal tape and I'm going to run it along the edge following the edge of the pit guard down the body line uh, and ending somewhere around where the bottom uh, strap button is. And this looks like it's going to be way more difficult to accomplish this step than doing the faux binding around the entire body of the guitar was. And this has actually turned out pretty good. A little bit better than I expected. I'm going to have to pull and restick this uh, bottom curvature a couple times because uh, this is not that easy to get it just perfectly lined up with the edges and the spacing. And we're at the end of the video, so this is what the guitar looked like at the beginning, and this is what it looks like now. So what do you guys think? It's pretty cool, huh? Not a bad effect for under 20 bucks. Till next time, take care.